This is Hiram Percy Maxim. In 1902, he introduced the first commercially successful firearm silencer, eventually receiving his first patent on March 30th, 1909. And as you can see here, his submitted artwork used a lever action rifle as a host. That's because the lever gun was the most popular repeating rifle of the day. In fact, one of Teddy Roosevelt's favorite guns was a suppressed Winchester 1894 that he used for pest control at his Long Island home. Maxim silent firearms offer their silencers in many calibers, but they soon settled on rimfire lever action rifles as the basis of an ad campaign promoting suppressed target shooting in the house. This is the Henry Threaded Frontier. Unlike those rifles seen in those Maxim silent firearms ads, it is a lever action rimfire. But in this case, the muzzle's threaded to accept any standard rimfire silencer. Yes, the name Hiram Maxim chose for his invention was silencer. <laughs> With all the different silencer hosts that are available today, why would you put a threaded barrel on a lever action? Well, just because it's got an old-timey action doesn't mean it can't benefit from having a newfangled silencer on the end of it. In fact, Henry customers have been sending their rifles off to specialty gunsmiths to get threaded for years, but it is a time-consuming and expensive process. Anyone who knows Henry Rifles, the company, knows that they actually do listen to customer requests. And they spend a lot of time coming up with a factory threaded rifle that answers the needs of their customers at a much lower cost than getting it threaded after the fact. And that's why the Henry Threaded Frontiers was coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Henry Threaded Frontier is a rimfire lever action rifle that should be familiar to fans of the brand. It's basically the Henry Octagon Frontier with a 24 inch barrel threaded 1 half by 28 to accept common rimfire silencers. Available in 22 long rifle and 22 magnum chamberings, the blued steel octagonal barrel is mated to a black metal receiver complete with an integrated scope dovetail. A fully adjustable semi buckhorn rear pairs with a brass bead front sight for shooters looking to sharpen their skills with iron sights. The forend and straight pull buttstock are made of the American Walnut Henry rifles are famous for, providing a length of pull comfortable for both adults and larger youngsters. The threaded frontier has no external safety, but it does have a transfer bar safety that prevents the hammer from contacting the firing pin unless the trigger is pulled all the way to the rear. What instantly sets this rifle apart from other Henry rimfires is not just the thread protector at the end of the muzzle, but also its shortened 10 round magazine designed to allow easy reloading with a silencer in place. The magazine shortened to 10 rounds of 22 long rifle or 16 rounds of 22 short and that's so you can clear a silencer in place and get the magazine tube out. This is a rugged oculus. It's a dedicated rimfire silencer. That was super easy but you could clear even say a 45 caliber pistol can if you wanted to thread that on the end for suppression. I know what you're asking. Why don't they just put a loading gate in? Well that works with center fire pistol calibers centerfire rifle calibers, but it doesn't work so well with rimfire. And that's because if you look, the bullets are not seated very tightly at all. And by pressing down to open a loading gate, you can end up bending the round out of place. And so that would cause misfeeds just from trying to get that into the magazine tube. But even if you could get that into the magazine tube, the rim would catch on the opening for the loading gate. You might not get it seated all the way. When you let go, it shoots back into the loading gate itself and it hangs everything up. So it's been tried. The old timey guns had magazines just like this, which is why the Henry rimfire rifles have magazines just like this. It simply works better this way. At seven pounds, the Threaded Frontier is only a half a pound heavier than the original 16 and a half inch barreled Octagon Frontier. And the balance is still very much in the middle of the rifle, actually right at the rear of the handguard with a silencer in place. My good friend Dustin Ellerman runs a kids camp with guns. It's pretty cool. And they shoot these all day long with no problem. You really aren't gonna feel that half a pound as something that's really cumbersome. What you do get is a very nice long sight radius to make using the iron sights a lot easier. Man, the sound of it hitting the berm is louder than the gunshot. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. And the thing about Henry rifles, every single Henry rimfire I've ever picked up, the action is smooth as glass right out of the box. Oh my gosh. These are fantastic rifles, no matter what variant you get. Cowboy mag dump time. <laughs> oh my gosh. The sound of cycling the action was the loudest thing. That's enough to get that can hot. So this is a pistol plate rack. I don't know if I'm gonna have any luck moving these. Oh yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's still pretty cool. This is so fast to load. I don't really miss the 16 round standard capacity at all. 10 rounds is a lot of shooting. It's actually where most bolt gun mags top out at anyway. Just like that, you're done and you don't have to get your hand anywhere near a hot silencer. Now let's hit something a little bit quieter in the steel plate. Ooh, a little high. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I usually am horrible with iron sights, but this makes it easy. That nice bright bead on the end is very easy to see in the notch of the semi buckhorn rear. And this is hitting about three inches high for me. I'm just using Kentucky windage to even it out. It's adjustable, but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. One of the cool things about the Rugged Oculus is that it is a modular can. I was able to take the front module off. It's super short. It's gonna sound the same to my ear, 24 inches plus back here. It might sound louder on the camera. I'm not sure because of the barrel length, but it's gonna be plenty hearing safe. And that's one of the best things about suppressed rimfire. If you're shooting subsonic rounds like CCI standard velocity, this is my absolute favorite rimfire ammo because it's pretty much match grade out to 25 yards and it's subsonic out of really long barrels. It's quieter shooting with a short can like this with no ear protection than shooting a centerfire rifle with earmuffs on. Check it out. Oh! Missed it. Tried to get it on a run. Nice. Yeah, so just like when I tested this can way back when it came out, at my ear right here, this is just as quiet. The echo off of the berm is a little bit louder but it's not offensive by any stretch. Look at that. Yeah, it's a 24 inch barrel, but with a teeny can on the end, you won't even notice. You will notice here though. All right, now a short can cowboy mag dump. <laughs> Still awesome, oh my gosh. This thing just, Licks those shells right out. That's straight out of the box. That's wonderful. Henry Rifles really knows how to make a rifle. 
and they make it fully in the United States, which makes it all the better. <laughs> Got to get these in a hurry, just shook them up. You can hear a nine millimeter, that's like, that's probably 50 yards away shooting. And for comparison, oh, sweet. Oh. What? There we go. Oh man. <laughs> Cheap seltzer is a nice reactive target because it blows up, but you don't get the sticky mess. Oh, <laughs> I get to shoot a lot of really cool guns, all different calibers, but suppressed subsonic 22 is always my favorite, always my favorite, so much fun. Henry makes a wide variety of rimfire, so they know that the Henry threaded frontier is not going to be for everyone. But if you're looking for a factory threaded rimfire lever action rifle, this is the choice. It's the only one currently being produced. They also make a non-threaded variant with a standard length magazine. That would be for somebody who would want to shoot iron sights but get as long a sight radius as possible. If you don't find yourself falling into either of those two categories, still look at Henry's website to see all the different rim fires and center fire rifles that they offer. I promise you, if you don't already have a Henry rifle, whatever variant you get will put a smile on your face. And the Henry Threaded Frontier will do that while also being pretty quiet. Be sure to read my full written review. I've got it linked in the video description below. I'm active most days on Instagram and Facebook. You can see the links right here. Be sure to also sign up for my mailing list. It's the only way to stay in touch with me no matter what happens to gun content on social media. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.